Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of OnActuate Salesforce AX Integrator. In organizations where two different systems are being used for ERP and CRM solutions, there is a need for integrating the two systems for seamless sharing of data. OnActuate Salesforce AX Integrator helps you to enable the unidirectional or bidirectional data flow between Dynamics AX 2012 and SFDC with few clicks. Some key features of OnActuate Salesforce AX Integrator are easily configurable, provides the ability to include or exclude one or more fields from synchronization, configuration and set of features are built on Dynamics AX, option to define the list of users who can or cannot initiate synchronization, ability to define constraints to block synchronization of certain transactions from AX based on some predefined conditions. Business logic can be written on AX and can be called from the integrator tool. Ability to create functions to perform any calculation or conversion before the data is pushed to the destination system. Logs are maintained for all transactions, success or failure. Let's see how to set up a new entity, customer group, to be synchronized between AX and Salesforce using this tool. Once the solution is installed in your Dynamics AX 2012 system, you can see a new module Salesforce integration added. For the first time after installation, we need to navigate to Salesforce login credentials module. To set up the credentials of the Salesforce user using which we will be connecting to the Salesforce. For now, we have this set up for us. Once logged on to Dynamics AX application, navigate to Salesforce integration module and click on Entity under Setup. We will be navigated to this entity screen on this screen, click New to create a new record for the entity name Demo Customer Group and capture the description as Demo Customer Group AX SFDC. Press Ctrl S to save changes. We will now click on Configuration option on the toolbar and on the Configure Entity screen, click New. Capture AX table name as Cus Group. Click on Field Mapping option on the toolbar. On this field mapping screen, capture the Salesforce table name as customer group. Please note that the table should already exist in Salesforce instance before we add it here. Once the table is selected, we can see list of fields on the screen under AX and SFDC sections. Let's go ahead and map these fields on the rightmost panel by clicking on New. Select Cust Group as AX field and the customer group ID as Salesforce field. By default, AX update and Salesforce update checkboxes are checked. We will leave it as is. In a similar manner, we will add two, three more fields. And this is what our final screen would look like. Let's close the screen and we are back on customer entity screen. On this customer entity screen, click primary table checkbox. Please note that the synchronization will work based on the primary table. So selection of one primary table is mandatory. Check synchronize Salesforce and synchronize AX checkboxes to configure a bi-directional synchronization. For demo purpose, let's say that in AX, the company name is USMF and we would like to default the company name as USMF in Salesforce for every record inserted from AX. To set the default value, we will click on Salesforce default value option on the toolbar and click on new. On entity default value screen, enter field name as AX company name and value as USMF. Control S to save changes and close the form. Also, when data is being synchronized from Salesforce to AX, we need to default the company name as USMF as well. We will click on AX default button here, new, Field name as data area ID, value as USMF, and save. Now let's click on validate mapping button here to validate all mappings we have configured. As we can see on this pop-up screen, price includes sales tax field is mandatory in Salesforce and has not yet been mapped. Say in AX, this field is not mandatory and it may or may not be populated. If we don't want Salesforce to file the validation every time data is being pushed to Salesforce, we can set that up too. 
We will again navigate to Salesforce default value screen. Click New. Set field name as Price Include Sales Tax and check Bypass Mandatory Field Check option. We can click Validate Mapping again. As we can see, there is no issue reported now. Also, we can click on General tab here and we can see Field Mapping Validated button is checked. Let's close this window. One last step is to define the DML operations on which we want to initiate synchronization. On this main entity form, let's click on General tab. On the General tab, we see these three checkboxes for both AX to Salesforce and Salesforce to AX data flow. These checkboxes will help us set our synchronization. Say, for demo purpose, we would like to initiate sync from AX every time a record is inserted, updated, or deleted. And we would like to initiate synchronization from Salesforce every time a data is inserted or updated, but not on deletion. We are now ready to synchronize data between Salesforce and AX. Let's try to create a new record in AX and see how the configuration we just did works. We navigate to Accounts Receivable module, Setup, Customer, Customer Groups. On Customer Group screen, click on New. Capture customer name as CG001. Description Demo Customer Group 01. Terms of Payment Net 30. Settlement Period COD. And Control S. A message is displayed when any entity is synchronized in Salesforce. You can turn off the message if desired by clicking on Salesforce Integration Module, Setup, Salesforce Parameters, and then uncheck the display synchronized success message. We can also check the integration status by clicking on integration status under inquiry. The record here shows details of synchronized customer group data. Let's log into Salesforce and see the customer group record we just synchronized from AX. We can see customer group with name demo customer group 01 here. Open the demo customer group 01 record. As we can see all the details like customer group name, payment term ID, settle period that we captured in Dynamics AX are here. Also, default value that we configured for company name as USMF is updated as well. Next, if we want to restrict records on some criteria, say we don't want to synchronize customer group records where clearing period is cash, we can configure the system for the same by navigating to Salesforce integration module, setup, Entity, Configuration, click on Constraints button, and on Constraints screen, click New. Select field name as Payment Term ID and value as Cash. Save. Now let's go ahead and create another record in AX with Payment Term as Cash. Click on New, Customer Group Name as uh, CG002, Name Demo Customer Group 02, Terms of Payment Cash, Settlement Period COD, and Save. We did not get any message as data was not pushed to Salesforce. If we navigate to Salesforce, we can see that the new customer group CG002 does not exist here. Let's also see how the data will be synchronized from Salesforce to AX. If you remember, during setup, we configured the system to synchronize new and modified records from Salesforce to AX, but not deleted. We are now in our Salesforce instance and we will create a new customer group by navigating to Customer Group tab and clicking on New Customer Group. Capture Customer Group as SFDC G001, name Customer Test SFDC01, Payment Term Net1, and click on Save. Customer Group is created in Salesforce. And as we can see, Customer Group SFDC G001 has been created in AX as well. Let's quickly go back to our Salesforce screen and delete the customer group we just created. The record is deleted from Salesforce. Now, if we navigate back to AX, we can see that record still exists in AX. Similarly, you can set up the tool to synchronize other entities between AX and Salesforce for your specific needs in a few clicks and apply other validation logics if required. With this, we conclude our walkthrough session. We hope you will enjoy working on OnActuate's Salesforce AX Integrator. Write to us at support at onactuate.com if you have any further queries or feedbacks. Thank you for watching.